Rangers have had none. He's asked questions to show us how nervous it's getting. Just the most staggering football match this in almost any circumstances, but claiming the context it is. It denies, it defies all sense. Balotelli! Great save! Well, he should score from there, but Kenny's been inspired today. A similar distance out to the one where Aguero had the volley and he missed it, and how games can come in moments like that. Combination of that score and this one. And Kenny comes and Kenny plays. What a day to be a supporter of Queen's Park Rangers. What a day to be a supporter of Manchester City. Where will they hide tonight? Where will they go? Where will they find the moral fibre to get up and go to work in the morning? De Jong. Silva. If they score now, there just might be time. Zavaleta, corner again there, 80. Staggering, just staggering. Silva, Checo scores! Four minutes to save themselves! Four minutes to find that crowd! Well, there is a goal to report at Manchester City. It's 2 2. It is 2 2. Eddie Chekhov's hope, the best thing to hope. Well, I talked at the very first minute of this game about when City got it right without Baratelli and Chekhov. They just didn't have that physical presence to trouble Ferdinand and Hill. But, yeah, a great ball then, great leap from Chekhov. And hope, hope for Manchester Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. There's never been a final day like this. It's Manchester City could go and score here and win the league with just about the last pick of the season. What a product this is. Clichy. Remember, Bolton are just drawing at Stoke. QPR could be safe anyway. This is all about the title now. Two and a half minutes of stoppage time played. Two and a half minutes to play. Away by Hill. Zavaleta. Out comes right Phillips. He must run for the hills. It's a QPR throw. Nasri thought, thought he was getting the, shot, the, the throw there. He could have kept that in. He wants the final whistle. Howard Webb blows the final whistle and it means that Manchester United have done their job here and now face a wait, an anxious wait of maybe two minutes. Manchester United's game is over. So is Bolton's game of Stoke. QPR are Manchester City still trying. Two, two, but no! Alec Ferguson can't believe it. Manchester City have scored again! And lead by three goals to two. Hope! Tears of distress! Tons of tears of unbroken joy! Well, I, I've got to say, Peter, I don't think I've ever witnessed emotion like I've seen today from crowd to the field to the lead. When the final whistle blew here, Alec Ferguson, Wayne Rooney and company thought that they had won the title because not two minutes ago, Queen's Park Rangers were leading by two goals to one. He stays on his feet and boy, does he get his rewards. The title is heading to the FBI. We are in the 95th minute of the last game of the season. And the Barclays Premier League has produced here the ultimate in sporting drama. It just does not get better than this. It will never get better than this in blue. There is going to be here universal celebration.
QPR are safe and they know it. Manchester City are seconds away from being the champions. scored a great header and Aguero finished it off I've never seen emotions in supporters like it unbelievable that is the difference City 3, QPR 2 at 90 minutes it was 1-2 it is the first time the Barclays Premier League has ever been decided on goal difference and that difference was the 6-1 at Old Trafford October the 23rd that's what really dethroned Manchester United Manchester City become the fifth different champions of the Premier League era. The blue moon has risen. And now Vincent Company, 44 years and two days on, following in the footsteps of the legendary Tony Book, will step forward to be conferred with a prize and a title to which the long-suffering supporters of Manchester City can cling. They are champions. At the end of one of the most gripping seasons ever, one of the most gripping afternoons ever, for the first time in 44 years, Manchester City are champions of England, winners of the Barclays Premier League 2011-12.